Bayesian linear regression. Most R users are familiar with the LM and GLM functions in base R. These are frequentist models, but today I'm going to teach you how to do it the Bayesian way. We'll need the BRMS library to create the model and the CAR data library to give us some real world data. I'll be using the UN98 dataset, which contains various metrics from countries in the United Nations. Our outcome of interest is GDP per capita, and our single covariate will be the average number of years of education for men. The function in BRMS that lets us implement regression is the BRM function, short for Bayesian Regression Model. Using it is just like using its frequentance cousins LM and GLM. We first need to specify the regression relationship via formula, so outcome on the left, covariate on the right, and a tilde to separate the two. Finally, we need to specify the UN98 data in the data argument. If we run this, BRMS will start to produce the posterior distribution for the parameters of this model. BRMS samples from the posterior distribution through Markov chain Monte Carlo algorithms facilitated by the Stan language. That's a huge topic for another video, but in the end, Stan produces a posterior distribution based on the data we gave it. For linear regression, the parameters are the regression coefficients as well as the noise. Since this is a Bayesian analysis, we need to specify our priors for each of these parameters. If we don't supply any in BRMS, we'll use defaults. We can use the prior summary function to check what these priors were. Class B indicates a non-intercept regression parameter, and BRMS uses a flat prior. The intercept and standard deviation have a t-distribution prior with three degrees of freedom. Finally, we can summarize the posterior distribution of the parameters using the summary function. It kind of looks like the summary for a frequentist linear regression, but with some added Bayesian details. The model found that increasing the average number of years of education for men in the sample increased the GDP per capita by more than $2,441. The 95% credible interval for this increase is between $1,854 and $3,029, so we can feel pretty confident in saying that more education increases GDP per capita. That was two minutes of Bayesian linear regression. If there's anything you want me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments. See you in the next one.